<coughs> excuse me, it's good to be back here again on Thursday morning to share worship with you. Um, despite the weather outside, we're all in here and we're all fine. <laughs> so it's good to be here to, to worship God. And we're going to start sing today by singing a golden oldie, God Who Made the Earth. The steadfast love of the Lord never faileth. His mercies never come to an end. They are new every day. Let's join together in a word of prayer. Loving and gracious Father, we give you thanks and praise today that your mercies are indeed new every morning and that your love never fails. Other things can fail us or change around us, but you never do. And so we give you our thanks and praise. We thank you, Lord, for the world around us. We thank you, Lord, that it is the summer for the longer days, for the beauty of the trees and the fields and the flowers and the gardens. We thank you, Lord, for all these things. We thank you, Lord, for all the blessings you give to each one of us. Help us not to take them for granted our food we eat every day, the homes we live in, our families and friends. Lord, we thank you for your mercies. You understand that we don't always get things right, that we make mistakes, that we think wrong thoughts, or we don't do the things we plan to do. So we ask, Lord, that you would give us hope and joy. You forgive us and strengthen us each and every day. Help us to put our feet on the right path and to continue to follow you. So Lord, be with us during our time of worship. Touch each heart and mind, everyone who's here or watching at home, that you would bless them, be with them. Give them the strength and grace they need. And we ask it all in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, who taught us to pray together, saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom, the power and the glory forever. Amen.
We're going to sing again, Spirit of God and Seen as the Wind. Morning comes from Isaiah chapter 55, verses 1 to 11. God's offer of mercy. The Lord says, Come, everyone who is thirsty, here is water. Come, you that have no money, buy grain and wheat and eat. Come, buy wine and milk, it will cost you nothing. Why spend money on what does not satisfy? Why spend your wages and still be hungry? Listen to me and do what I say, and you will enjoy the best food of all. Listen now, my people, and come to me. Come to me and you will have life. I will make a lasting covenant with you and give you the blessings I promised to David. I made him a leader and commander of nations, and through him I showed them my power. Now you will summon foreign nations. At one time they did not know you, but now they will come running to join you. I, the Lord your God, the Holy God of Israel, will make all this happen. I will give you honour and glory. Turn to the Lord and pray to him, now that he is near. Let the wicked leave their way of life and change their way of thinking. Let them turn to the Lord our God. He is merciful and quick to forgive. My thoughts, says the Lord, are not like yours, and my ways are different from yours. As high as the heavens are above the earth, so high are my ways and thoughts above yours. My word is like the snow and the rain that come down from the sky to water the earth. They make the crops grow and provide seed for planting and food to eat. So also will be the word that I speak. It will not fail to do what I plan for it. It will do everything I send it to do. The word of God for the people of God. Amen. We sing again, through the love of God our Saviour, all will be well.
In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. An atheist professor was teaching a college class in America. He told the students that he was going to prove that there was no God. He said, God, if you are real, I want you to knock me off this platform. I'll give you 15 minutes. 10 minutes went by. He kept on saying, here I am, God. I'm still waiting. As he got down to the last couple of minutes, a huge big American football player come bashing through the door, ran up and hit the professor full force, sending him flying off the platform. The professor got up, obviously shaken, and said, where did you come from and why did you do that? The football player replied, God was busy, he sent me. <laughs> Does anyone remember Bob Dylan? He's an American singer, and although he's now 84, he's still touring the world, which is amazing. In the 60s, he wrote a lot of what we called protest songs. I remember singing a lot of protest songs in the 60s, and one of the songs Bob wrote was The Times, They Are a Changing. And back in the 60s, the times were definitely changing, and here in the 21st century, they still seem to be changing. It's just a constant thing, isn't it? Change. Sometimes we like it and sometimes we don't. And when thinking of how life is now, it's probably a lot easier in many ways because of the technology we have. And every day now, we just take it for granted. Mobile phones. Does anyone remember having to queue at a telephone box to make a call? Yeah. Um, all the gadgets in the home, central heating, no more sitting around the fire, automatic washing machines and dishwashers, microwaves, air fryers, and computers. They've all made a big impact in our everyday life. And some people have to work, and they do work at home as well, and spend a lot of their time on computers. And a lot of children do as well now, don't they? And look how our buying has changed. People don't go to the shops so much now, do they? They buy online because it's easier. iPads, M3 players, Blu-ray, not forgetting social media. Now, there, there's a great debate about social media, whether it's a good thing or a bad thing. There's voices for and against. Now, you wonder where technology is going to take us next, don't you? I've seen uh, programs about driverless cars and you just instruct the car and it'll take you wherever you want to go. And driverless buses as well. That's, that seems to be something that's been talked about. Will there be holidays to the moon or even Mars? And what will the future hold for the children growing up now? Because we definitely need to take better care of our planet. Think too of all the advances in medicine in the last 60 years. I remember the first heart transplant and very difficult surgeries are now done as day cases and also research and advances being made in treating a lot of life-threatening diseases such as cancer. Now, we had a big change last Friday because we all woke up to find we had a new government. Labour won the election, and we have a new Prime Minister, Sir Keir Starmer. There are bound to be changes, and let's hope that they are for the better. In view of what's been going on in the last few years, we all need to pray for our country, for unity, and the breaking down of barriers. And we also need to pray for our leaders, that they will govern with integrity and wisdom in these challenging times. We have progressed in so many ways, but the world today, we still have poverty, hunger, war, and hatred. War causes so much misery. Who can forget the pictures this week from Ukraine of a young child being rescued from a children's hospital, which had been bombed? 
or the results of a refugee camp in Gaza being hit by missiles. Man's inhumanity to man still stunts our world, stunts our world from achieving what it could be. We still need a saviour. The background to our reading today in Isaiah 55, God's people had disobeyed him just one time too many. And despite all the warnings they got from the prophets, they ended up being taken off to Babylon. Their enemies had defeated them and taken most of the population off in exile. But God is not finished with them. He reaches out to them to offer them new hope. And what a blessing it is, he's never finished with us either. From our reading today, come all of you who are thirsty, come to the waters, and, and you who have no money, buy and eat, come buy wine and milk without money and without cost. Why spend money on what is not bread and your labour on what does not satisfy? God's invitation is not just for when it was written all those thousands of years ago, but for us as well. He's saying, if you come to me, I will meet your needs. And if you don't need money to, and you don't need money to buy this food for your soul, it's a free gift for everyone. The Lord Jesus echoes these words in John chapter 7 when he says, If anyone is thirsty, let him come to me and drink. Whoever believes in me, as the scripture has said, streams of living water will flow from within him. Yet in spite of all these great promises, the people who are thirsty for new hope, new joy and a new way of life turn away from the living God who says, listen, listen to me, eat what is good and your soul will delight in the richest of fear. Sadly, they still turn away looking for something that will change their lives for the best and looking in all the wrong places and doing all the wrong things. Verse 6 says, Seek the Lord while he may be found. Call on him when he is near. Let us turn to the Lord and he will have mercy on us. The times are changing for everyone, not just here in Forfar in Britain, but everywhere in the world. But the Father, Son and Holy Spirit, our God never changes the same yesterday, today and forever. The words written so long ago in the book of Isaiah are as relevant for us today as then. The offer is still open to everyone who will believe. God means what he says. His love for us, his children, never changes, though everything else around us does. He is a sure foundation on which we can build our lives. We join together in a word of prayer. We thank you, loving Father, that your mercy is new every day, that you never change. There's so much change round about us. Sometimes we, we just get afraid and worried of what's going to happen in our world today, and yet we know you are our sure foundation. And so, Lord, help us all to stand firm on the rock, the rock which is the sure, sure foundation for our lives. And we pray for your strength, your hope, your joy. We don't need money to, to have this. It is a free gift. And so we give you our thanks and praise. We also want to pray today for our world, for the places where there is war, in Ukraine, in Gaza, places where there is unrest, places where there is floods, places where there are forest fires. Lord, the world so much needs your hand on it. We need your peace, your love, your joy. And so we bring these things before you today, Lord, and ask for your blessing. In a moment of silence, we bring before you anything on our own hearts today.
Loving Father, we pray for our new government. We pray for wisdom, integrity, and your love in their hearts that they would serve the people. We pray for our country. There is so much, Lord, that needs to be fixed, that needs to be renewed. And so we put everything into your care. We thank you, Lord, for those in our country who are trying to make things better. We pray for all the charities who are working to help people. Lord, we pray for our church. We pray for our ministers, Karen, Maggie. And we pray for all the office bearers, all those who volunteer here, Lord, all those who give their services and their time. We pray for them, Lord. We pray for your blessing on this, this church, that you would help us to walk together and strengthen and guide us in unity and faith. All these things we ask in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, who was sent to earth to show us what you were really like, Lord, your love and your mercy. And we thank you for his sacrifice for each one of us. And we ask all these things in his precious name. Amen. So we're going to finish now with singing, God is our strength and refuge. peace and may the blessing of the Father, Son and Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen.